Good morning, YouTube friends. Welcome to day number 55 of the carnivore life. Um, I know I haven't checked in regarding carnivore until now. Um, I didn't want it to get too repetitive as I was just basically showing you guys what I was eating every day. Maybe some people do like it. I really didn't get any comment feedbacks regarding continue doing those daily check-ins but um i did want to um start this video by <laughs> letting you guys know being super honest i don't know if i'm if carnivore is for me because um just recently from after i came back from my arizona trip so it's been about a week exactly to this day i don't know if you guys can see that on my face but I've been breaking out so bad with pimples, like white heads, bumps, and I had to cut off all my nails because they were just breaking off, like literally breaking. You guys have seen my other videos where I'm cooking or where I'm talking to you guys and my nails were long. These are my like my natural nails. I don't do acrylic nails. So see how it's now like a little stub because they were breaking off like three or four of them completely broke off just by me touching like the side of the bed or you know getting up and I'm like this is not normal now I did stop taking my vitamin my multivitamin and my vitamin b1 complex and the vitamin b uh, was actually recommended by my neurologist because he was saying that it was a good supplement to get over the headaches that I was getting. And so I was taking that. But I noticed that when I was consuming a lot of the red meat, when it was just just red meat, um, I don't know if it was because of the vitamins. Um, I don't know if it was because I was drinking water while I was eating. It was just a hot mess. So... Then, um, then I, you guys seen the other videos where I so got really, really constipated, like extremely constipated, where by the time I was done pooping, there was blood when I was wiping, which I told you guys, that's not normal. So I did tell you guys from the get-go that I was going to see if this was going to be it for me. But as you can see, look at this. You guys go back to any day number one, day number 10, day number 15. None of that was on my face. And as, as I get into more of being carnivore, I don't really see that I'm losing a ton of weight. The only thing I'm seeing is like negative stuff, which is this. Look at that. Here, here, here. I had one come out right here. Um, in other videos, you did see one or two come up right here. And then I'm just getting, I'm just getting left behind with scars I didn't have this when I was a teenager this is happening to me right now as an adult and then um, another thing that I've noticed and you guys probably won't be able to see it but I've been getting like this big rash right here and more pimples on the back of my ear like horrible pain and pimples inside my ear so if I put an earbud in there it hurts up oh, here's another one right here you see that right there and then i believe there was another one by like my eye over here i don't know if it went away because i've been trying to just clean them i really don't put soap on my face um, i do clean though i do use uh, i did use alcohol to dry them out um again i i when i was a teenager i had a few up here and then they would disappear but I've never put like makeup on my face. I've never put like heavy stuff on my face, like chemicals on my face that they would break out. And so the only thing I've done is change my diet. I haven't done anything new, no new soaps, no new um, acetones or none of that stuff. I don't use any of it. No new cleansers for my face, No none of it. I've never needed it. I've always just grabbed some warm water, you know, and kind of cleaned my face. And um, and then I get told a lot that my face is, you know, young looking or I look young. Sometimes I feel I do. But 
this I'm not happy with. And I'm telling you, I get it. They're inside my ear. They're all down my neck. And it's just something I can't handle because I don't know why my skin now, at day 55, actually started uh, 47, 48, somewhere in there when I was, right when I was done with the Arizona trip that we were driving back, I started noticing them popping up more. And this one I did have while I was in Arizona. And I said, okay, this, this is a normal. Um, I shouldn't be getting any type of pimples. And I'm eating the same food I'll show you because I'm about to eat right now. I did wake up a little. See that? This recipe is coming soon for you guys. It's um, That's just my white sauce. Don't ignore that. But this is basically little muffins um, that I made. And my coffee. That's it. So, I don't understand... I did add more fat because, of course, I was getting constipated. A lot of you guys suggested we'll eat more fat. Okay, so now that I'm eating more fat, I feel like that's why I'm breaking out. And the fact that I can't be taking multivitamins, then my nails are becoming fragile. And I think I brought this, uh, brought this up to you guys in another video when I was telling you guys that my nails are breaking that I, I didn't know if I was going to do um, carnivore anymore. I really don't. Um, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't want to torture my body anymore. And I think, I think the healthiest uh, for me, and again, this is for me, if carnivore is working for you and you're getting amazing results, continue doing what you're doing but as myself personally for myself I can't and then it's not because I don't know what to eat of course I do it's easier carnivore is the easiest thing in the world to do but I can't continue having um, my body being tortured this way because I never have had pimples like this in the like the longest time I'm way far from being a teenager. I have adult children. Do you guys understand that? My oldest is 28 years old. She's 28. Okay. And um, and then I have a 25-year-old. And then I have a 23-year-old. So now you understand how old I am, right? And for me to be having this on my face this I'm okay with that being over here but these right here is like evil why did you pick that spot <laughs> and so now um when I was doing keto none of this was happening I wasn't breaking out I wasn't doing any of that and so I'm thinking that I'm gonna end up um, just introducing everything back how I was eating I was eating a lot of salads. I was eating a lot of um, baked goods that I was making with keto. And I typically don't eat a lot of that because I, I noticed too that the erythritol isn't really hot for your body either. And I pay attention to my body. And I hope you guys are too. So don't do this just because you want to lose the weight like that or you want to get all the likes and you want to get all the subscribers don't do it for that i told you guys i stopped doing those um donut that i had a eating series that i was going to start because i was like okay well a lot of youtubers are doing this so popular yada 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 dude those donuts were like a sugar overload in, on my body and i was doing one video once a week one donut and that 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 just right there can tell you a lot and I was paying attention. I was getting headaches, like really massive headaches because there was a lot of sugar in those donuts. So just so you know, I mean, again, if this diet is working for you, if carnivore is the proper human diet and you believe that that's going to take care of you, do it. Do it for sure. Don't, don't let me discourage you from doing it. I'm giving you here my experience after day 55. 
and I'm going to stick to the 60 days. Um, I, wa I wanted, my original goal was six months because I wanted to do blood work. But right now, I'm not going to make it. There's no way because I'm going to continue to break out. Um, besides my nails breaking, look at that. Both hands, I'll show you both hands. I had to cut them off because they kept breaking. I, I swear, look in other videos how long my nail, natural nails were. And look at how I ended up. Because they were just breaking off. This one completely broke off. Let me turn it around and you can actually see that it's broken and it's not that I cut it. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see that? There's a little corner right there. Right here. There we go. Right there. You guys can see it right there. It broke off. It completely broke off. And then this one broke off and then these three I cut. So there's there's no point on me continue to hurt my body just for the likes and the subscribes i'm so sorry and if i do lose subscribers because of me no longer being carnivore then oh well you know it's still gonna take me a while before i even get monetized but it is what it is people i'll get over it you'll get over it and then maybe there's something else that you're gonna like that i'm gonna start posting um, um, so you guys know that this is blogging for me. This is it. I'm just joining my life. So for sure, I'm going to continue eating these. I've been doing a little bit of overtime for work. Um, just a few hours, not a lot, not like I did last, last, last time, but I am working on videos. They are being released as we go along. This one, I'm going to legit just go over it right now and upload it. So you guys have it hopefully by around lunchtime. And um, there's more coming up. I have all the way almost to the end of the month of videos that I've already uploaded for you guys. So just keep an eye on out. Um, I'm kind of doing like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, um, sometimes Saturdays. There's no set schedule for me. I'm all over the place. You guys just wait for that notification. And then you'll see that there's something there that's going to be released. Um, all right, my amigos. So thank you so much for all your support for the ones that do stay and stick along. I Once again, I am going to go all the way to day 60 so I can give you guys pictures of the before and after again. And then the weigh-in. I did check last week. I was at 198, which um, in total for the two months, the what would make it 10 pounds. But I don't know if, if I stayed 198. I haven't checked. But I'll do it in front of you guys. I'll record myself. Mr. Pinguino's good about helping me hold the camera while I get on the scale. And because the phone is a little bit heavy, believe it or not. I get two different weights with with and without the phone on my hand. So but anywho, um thank you to all my friends that stay from minute number one all the way to the end of my videos. Love you guys so much for always being there for me. And then of course, um, don't forget you guys, you do you, I'll do me for sure. And then we'll see you in the next video. Bye.